It's time for another edition of Furry Friend Friday with Russell Anderson and our special guest, Sandra D. So excited to have you all in Sandra studio today. D. Well, thank you for inviting us. We really enjoy coming up here. Tell me, or is it Sandy D? I think that's what you said. Sandra D. Sandra D? Okay. Yep, Sandra D. And uh, we might as well just go ahead and start yeah, with her. I want her to know all about her first. Okay. Um, her owner actually ended up in the hospital. The people that were watching and brought her down to us. So she kind of has a backstory uh, rather than, than their usual. They're just a stray or I no longer want to take care of them. Um, but she is a great, great dog. When she was turned into us, they, they told us she was about six months old. We're thinking four to five months, um, maybe even a little bit younger because she still has great puppy breath. I really? mean, when she gives you kisses and she loves kisses and, and she's real smart, real attentive, um, she, you could smell that puppy breath just coming off of her. But you could just tell by, by her face and everything in her eyes that she just pays attention to everyone and she just loves to be held and loved on. Oh, yeah, you can see how she's just been looking around this whole time. Now, she yeah, was she's, giving me a kiss them. during the commercial break. Um, but when I went to pet her, she almost seems a little jumpy. Is it just because she's on studio, or like here? Is she a little nervous, or she's just does it take her a little bit to get like acquainted with new people? Yeah, I mean it's just one of those things when any time that that she gets around someone new, it's a little bit. But then as soon as she gets comfortable with you, that's it. She's she's part of your pack and and in there. So, um, but she she just loves certain people and will run right up to them and watch them the whole time. So. She's a really good dog, really great. And we're just looking for someone out there to give a great forever home to, to Sandra tomorrow. Oh, she's so. so cute. Anything else people need to know about her? Um, not about her. She just got fixed yesterday. So, you know, okay. you don't want to wash that area for about a week. Um, and I'll say that about all the animals. It's good to we, know. Were, we were down to one dog yesterday and they did surgery. Our vet is back in country, so we got 12 dogs done today. We're having more surgery, so be, our adoption row should be full tomorrow. I want a ton of people to come down there because we've kind of been holding our breath and, and let's get them out through the adoption process. Mm -hmm. I'll also do an Adoptable Pets weekly video, get that up tomorrow too. We are running out of time, we got one minute left. Okay, let's spin that wheel and go ahead and pick a name and let's see who it's for the Museum of the Great, Great Plains, Plains, and that's a... Um, oh, she's so curious. Oh, wait oh, a minute. This, oh, oh, is it changing on us? Can it do that? I don't know. We're going to stick We're with gonna that. We're going to stick with the museum? Because okay. that's where it was at. That's where it was. And it's uh, Carol Richards, and we'll give Carol Richards a call. Adopted a cat from us, so congratulations okay. on that. And we're just hoping to see everyone tomorrow. All righty. Well, thank you so much, Russell, for coming in. Well, so thank glad you for to have this us. dog here with us. Now, you can stop by Law and Animal Welfare between 10 and 2 tomorrow. Check out all of the animals that are looking for their forever homes. He said they have a lot of them right now. Now, if you're not available to make it tomorrow, the shelter is open 11 to 6, Tuesday through Friday. Now, Russell, tell me again, where are you located? We're located at 2104 Southwest 6th Street. We'll, we'll see, see you down, down there. there. For more information, you can find Lawn Animal Welfare on Facebook. And here's what's coming up on 7 News at 5. Governor Kevin Sitt has chosen an interim director for the Oklahoma Department of Corrections. We'll tell you who he picked, and Matt will have the latest on the weekend severe threat. 